俺は最初から最後までクライマックスだぜ !Hey guys, this is KRX50 here, back with my next re-review of the Renkets Buzo Deluxe Dengasher from Kamen Rider Deno. This is Deno's main fort moded weapon that comes with a few parts. Parts 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 2 clips. They clip onto the Deno belt to the side like this. Just put it there, adjust it to where you want it to be. And do the same on the other side. And you got it there. Since there are two parts on each side, they balance each other out. So that the belt doesn't get weighed down on either side, making it unbalanced and uneven. Let's take them off. We can look at each part individually. Here's part one, which mainly serves as the blade for sword mode. It has this dash here, which is the kanji for one. It looks like the front of a train. Next is part two, with a kanji for two. Mainly serves as the barrel for gun mode. Part 3, kanji for 3. Mainly serves as the blade for axe mode. And part 4, mainly serves as the handle for all modes as well as has a reel for rod mode. So they each clip on easily and can be ta detached just as easily for easy access and easy storage. So to start off, we'll com combine it into sword mode. Start off. Well actually, before we get to that, I'll uh, tur just turn this thing on. So here's the sw switch right here. The light in there. Here's the standby sound. Don't mind these paint marks, these paint scuffs. We got that when it's not in any of the four modes. Just clipping it back now. Now we'll get to sword mode. First, takes part, take parts two and three. Line them up like so. Make sure that this little thing goes into the slot. And take these two clips, fold them over, click them into place. Take part one. Attach it onto part two. Oh, part three, actually. Take off part four. Have it like this. Squeeze in these sides. Attach it in like that. Then flip out the blade. And here you have it. In sword mode. The blade is very small because of the flipping out feature, but it's the best they can do, and this still looks very nice. One thing about this is that you've got these mar marks that kind of connect together like a path of a train, or like a train map route, kind of you know, showing that all the parts really do mold together. It's got two sounds to it. That one sound is for the finisher, Extreme Slash. And it's got a basic sword attack. And the sounds play it randomly with no specific pattern to turn it to its next mode, rod mode. You first flip in the sword blade, then flip that off and detach it. And this actually works. The way the mode changes work is that there are switches here and in, and two in here, 
that gets pressed down in specific patterns for the different modes. Then you just extend it like that for the longest rod mode. Where it's got this rail on the side. And also this with enough force you can break this off and this is, is attached to here by a uh, rope for a set for a pseudo fishing rod kind of thing, but you might really break this and damage it if you do that too much. And I'm like I'm not gonna show it on camera. Got two sounds as well. Got that basic sound. And that second sound for solid attack. Then to change it to axe mode, we'll take this and attach it. Coming over here, attach part 1 to part 3, but not before flipping around. Well, yeah, do that like that, then flip around part 2, then detach part 4, which has the kanji for 4. Attach it to there, extend the blade. Now you have axe mode. Got the golden blade there. And two more sounds. The dynamic chop sound. And the basics clashing sound. Finally, to turn to gun mode. Detach this. Take the combination of one and three. Just flip around to piece 3 and reattach to piece 1. Take piece 2, slide in there, then attach the handle to piece 4. And you have gun mode. This one being the most show accurate because of the proportions. It's got a little bent handle for easier way to hold it. Has the wild shot sound, a ricocheting bullet sound, and as I've shown in another video, you can take this, flip around these two for Dengasher boomerang mode, and flip these in and extend blade for Dengasher hand axe mode, the wing form combo. Which, as I said in the video where I first showed these, is a nice bonus. But, no specific sound. So, yeah. The Den Gasher is absolutely a cool toy. For the idea of it having four modes that you can change to it will and from it will. It's absolutely awesome. So you've got four different ways to play with it. Which really adds to what you can do. Plus, because of the hinge system, you can even make up a few of your own fan modes. So really, I highly recommend this to Dano fans. Absolutely. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And for now, this is KRX50, riding off.